Hi, I'm Tara. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create see-through text on any background using any font. It's really simple, so let's get started. We first need to just select a size. I'm going to go 1280 by 720. The first thing we need to add is a shape. So if you click on elements and we're going to select shapes. And we're just going to select a square, but we're not going to make it a rectangle. So we just increase the size of it and we're going to make that rectangle black. And then we're going to add a text box. So you click on text, click on add a text box, or you can hit T on your keyboard. It will bring you to the same result. So the word we're going to use today is juice, but obviously this can be whatever, whatever word um, suits your project. You know, you could have blooms or tropical or anything and um, it doesn't it doesn't matter what you pick so we are going to change the font to apricots because I kind of like the way it joins together I'm just going to make it slightly bigger so your word has to sit within that um, outer box otherwise it won't work see the way it's just Touching there, let's move up slightly. In order to do this text effect, you do have to have Canva Pro because we're going to use a background remover on us. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you can sign up for free for 30 days. So the first thing we need to do is make this text into an image. So we do that by clicking on share and we're going to download and we're going to click on download. And once you've saved it, once you've downloaded it, then we're going to click on uploads and we're going to upload file. And once it has uploaded, we're just going to add a page and then we're going to click on it. And now you can see that it's it's actually an image. It's no longer a you can't change the text anymore. So make sure that your your word is spelled correctly and um, that you're happy with your word. So then what we're going to do is we're going to click on edit photo. And we're going to select background remover. So as I say, background remover is part of the pro version. So we click on background remover. And then you can see that the all the white is gone and it's now it's now see through. So we're going to go back. And we're just going to reduce these down. Even though they are see through, but just to make life easier. And then we're going to click on elements and we're going to, we need to be back in, we're going to look for photos and we're going to search for oranges. So we can choose that one or that one. We'll look at this one first and see what it's like. So you just need to go to position and you need to send it to the back. So would you know that they are oranges? Just reduce it down slightly. Sometimes it's hard to um, to get an image that like that green looks a bit funky there. I might just look for another one. Um, photos again. See what this one looks like. I'm gonna draw it out. They don't suggest juicy, do they? <laughs> so I've gone back and changed that again, and I'm gonna go with this picture here, which I think, as I say, you have to be careful on on what image you pick because you don't want it to be so obscure that you can't you can't tell what it is. But um, I think I think that works pretty well. So then we're going to click on the juice part and we're going to click on edit photo again. And this time we're going to click on duotone because we don't want the black. So um, we're going to click on any of them. It doesn't matter which one you pick. And when we click on the color and we bring that to white and then we're going to bring this one to white. Then it becomes uh, just the white background, which is I think is really really effective really easy to do 
So once you have your background where you want it to be, you can then, well, you can increase the size of it. And as long as you have both of them selected. And then you can add like extra bits, like, like an orange peel, or if it was, if it was apple juice, you could have, like, you could have apple, um, an apple peel. Um, it's really good, I think, if you were, if you had like a whole range of products. Or if it's the name of the name of a, of your shop or or juice bar. If you've learned something new today, please hit that like and subscribe. Or if you want access to this template, it's in the description below.